Okay, I think we're recording. So we're just gonna do a little walk through uh, at the Phoenix Urban Research Farm at Phoenix Renews. And we're gonna look at the cover crops before we till them in this Saturday, May 4th, 2013. Okay, bear with us, we're gonna walk. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, so you can probably see this ryegrass. Um, you want to pan to the field. So we have a little bit of the ryegrass pop up and it's it's going to seed. We don't want to see it go to seed. However, there was some issues with us being able to till because of a dust permit, but we're good now and we're going to till this bad boy under before he... Um, we don't want him to volunteer next winter. So we want to get him in the ground um, soon. So then we walk, do you mind walking through? So if you can see the expanse of turnips, you can see that they really did a great job of outcompeting the weeds, outcompeting the ryegrass, and sometimes outcompeting the peas. Um, it's interesting. We think that turnips are going to be the way to go because they produce such a massive amount of cover and organic matter, and then just the, a little bit of turnip that wouldn't be too bad to till in. Um, so that was interesting. You can also see that the field was not created equal, that there is a definite line where things stopped growing. And we don't quite know why, but that's part of the reason why we do cover crops, is so that we can see which parts of the field are growing well and which aren't. This to me indicates that we just need to keep boosting the soil health and soil tilth with more cover crops. So we're planning on trying some cow peas or black eyed peas and black eyed peas are great because they fix nitrogen and you can eat the greens and um, or the green the bean when it's young. Um, oh last thing let's find some peas. Those we planted three cover crops total ryegrass, peas, and turnips and we planted them in November and now it's April and we got to till them in. So, sorry. I'm right here? Yeah. So, you can see that they kind of got eviscerated. It just got really hot for them. But today we were saving the seed. I think you can see it. Today we were saving the seed and there's more to be harvested so that next year we can use our harvested seed for ourselves. So, that's the cover crop experiment at Phoenix Urban Research Farm for 2013. We're seeing a lot of beneficial insects. Um, I'm seeing a ton right now just crawling on the turnip leaves. Um, it's been a good experiment and we're going to do it again and um, we'll keep you posted. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what happened and then I'll show you one more thing. This was our untreated control. We randomized the plots so so you could um, so we could see which crops were most effective. And um, this one was the untreated control, and this is London Rocket that has gone to seed. I don't know if you can see that very well. So that's okay. We'll till it under, and we're gonna try and come up with some cool London Rocket recipes for next winter. How you could eat these weeds in the garden. So that's that. Bye.